Okay, I'm going to quickly show you how to test and do a motor block check. This works for power heads, pumps, PSK pumps, any pump for that matter, as well as uh, specifically we're going to show the PSK pumps. This is a PSK pump from CJ. This size motor block comes in three sizes of flow, a PSK 600, 1000, and 1200. The, uh, all of these were designed originally to be protein skimmer pumps and they all are the same footprint so for the sake of this video you can clean and check all of them the same way. First you always have to remove, this is the small screw at the front which I just always remove and take that out. If this pump's being used submerged uh, as in the skimmers underwater when the pumps underwater you don't really need to keep this in but that's on there for extra secure uh, closure when the pump is external and not used under the water. Uh, a lot of times this, this again was designed to be extremely tight fitting and closed so sometimes it's hard to just turn that as the o-rings lose their lubrication. Take the back of a, a pair of pliers or anything like this they're soft and rubber so you don't damage it. Don't grab this with pliers or anything like that. Uh, you just simply use it like leverage and turn okay the way to make that easy is to always lubricate your o-rings without question the very best is magic lube this is magic lube 2 and there's a one version this is the best product it was designed to be non-toxic the best thing i found to work on all of these o-rings it also prevents old o-rings from leaking but it lets you open and remove o-rings very easily okay now what we want to do this is remove the impeller slash rotor um, for the sake of this I'm going to keep calling this the impeller but it is an impeller and a rotor it has a fixed shaft um, this is the gray version and just so you're aware there are if you get a, you have a unit that's black these are the newer the latest and greatest generations from CJ they're all gray they're no longer black so that lets you know uh, there'll be different sizes for each different pump, but the motor block's the same. You're going to inspect the rear bearing. The rear bearing, make sure it's good, it's seated, it's in place. And you're going to inspect the front bearing for the same thing. You would inspect this interior hole to make sure there's no scarring that is all the way through to metal. As long as it's not through to metal, you're okay. The number one issue with these pumps and any pump on the market used for skimmers or in salt water if they have a really tight bearing which that's what makes them quieter uh, some of these higher quality tighter bearings will also uh, get clogged with calcium when you're using calcium additives which we all do or if you turn the pump off uh, it sort of seizes almost like concrete briefly that can be fixed by if this were seized you can usually break it loose with a small pair of pliers if you're real careful or you can replace the bearing or soak it in vinegar and CLR then do the same thing try it with your fingers first but this the front and the rear bearing should both spin freely that is the number one issue of startup now if you're going to do a motor block check on any pump you can do it out of the water so what you would do is plug the pump in So I've got the plug, plug pumped in. I've already done the other inspections. Hold the rotor firmly, and you get to the side, you can feel the vibration. So you can feel the vibration on any pump, and you know the motor block's good. So if I'm having any kind of issue at all, it's in cleaning these rotors, it's in the bearing, front or rear. It's something to do with the rotor or the bearings or the shaft. It has nothing to do with the motor block. Now, last, people ask all the time, uh, they want to know about if there's voltage and how do I determine a motor block check is if I can't see anything in there well if you have a GFI or a GFI outlet and you plug any pump into a GFI or GFI outlet if it's popping the GFI then you know you have um, water getting into the coils so the resin on the back or the cord or the motor block has some damage and then you know the motor block is bad as well so that is the, the PSK pump motor block check for any pump, and I hope that helps you.